I've had a pretty uh, unique experience uh, with my time with football, uh, a little bit over 10 years now playing the game uh, with that special COVID year that happened. Uh, got to spend my time as a coach for a year, see what it was kind of like from another perspective uh, in the game. And I really thought that was great because it really allowed me to see film from another perspective. So as a player, I got to uh, study it on my own. And really my only way of learning about how to watch film was through my coaches and what they told me was important to look for, what they told me was important to study uh, for myself and for my opponents. A big thing uh, that I had a coach always tell me was, you know, that an eye in the sky never lies and how important that is, uh, that everything you're doing is always on film. And so whether that's, you know, you have a really great game, um, you know, it's never as good as you think it is. And whether you have a really bad game, it's never as bad as you think it is. Uh, so that makes me think about, you know, for example, a uh, time when I've had a great game, you know, I had a few sacks some TFLs and coaches going through uh, film and, you know, he's pointing out, I didn't run to the football this time on this play. Uh, I didn't, I didn't do run my technique right on this play. And I think a really big thing about film, uh, especially, uh, you know, with your coach is just always keeping those expectations that they have throughout the season. You know, they may, uh, you know, you go throughout a season and, you know, there's different points of em em emphasis each week with different opponents, but when you watch film on a regular basis and you have a really great coach who's showing how important it is, uh, you know, to do the basics to the best of your ability. And he's, you know, hammering that into you every week, each and every week, you know, that becomes so important. It becomes ingrained in you as a player. And I just think that's really important because the coach needs to set those expectations for you. You know, if one of his philosophies is to run to the football every play, no matter what, no matter how far you are from the ball, he's got to show you that every week, no matter, you know, if you have a, a five sack game, you know, you know, you could have had six, you could have had seven, you could have had this many more TFLs, this many more tackles if you just ran to the football. And that's why it's always important because you never know when that's going to catch up on you when you play better op opponents later down the, uh, down the stretch of the season. So that's a, that's a big, a big, thing that I've always uh, thought impacted me as a player on, uh, especially from a coach's perspective. Yeah. Um, so I know you talked about like expectations and like really focus on the hustle perspective. What about from an opponent, an opponent's perspective? Like when you're watching the guy that you're going to line up against, like what do you key on? Like what kind of stuff do you key in on? Like is your technique <clears throat> tendencies, what kind of stuff do you look at with that? Definitely. So when you first start looking at an opponent and again, like all views that I have, they're really just what I've learned from my coaches. Um, you know, we are always looking first at, you know, formations, you know, how are you going to line up? That's always the first thing. And, you know, that's really the bare bones of everything every week. How are you going to line up against your opponent? Once you kind of have that down and you have that figured out, that's when you get to really have fun uh, and get into the nitty gritty of, you know, the game, of the details, you know, how does this guy, how does this O-line, and this is all from a defensive line perspective because I played defensive end uh, all throughout college and defensive line pretty much my entire life. Um, but you're watching an offensive lineman. How do they look when they're getting ready to pass set? How do they look when they're ready to run, uh, run block? Uh, do they have a little bit more weight on their hand? Are they, who, are they looking at who they're blocking? Um, if they're going to pull, are they a little bit further in the backfield? And that's really important things to look at, um, you know, how, where do they set their hands when they're getting into pass protection? Do they have high hands, low hands? Do they love to hold and get away with it? You know, that's something you have to be prepared for uh, mentally. I have, I feel like a big thing for coaches, you know, they, a lot of coaches that I've had, they, they handle how their players handle, you know, being held very differently. Some players get very frustrated. A lot of players play through it. And, you know, I think a big thing from film that you get to watch, you get to see, you know, you were literally, you know, a game is a test and, you know, it's open note until you get to the game. You get to see everything that your opponent has done before you got to the game. And you get to see if this guy 
you know, likes to grab your neck a little bit or, or tugging your jersey a little bit, and he's, he's getting away with it. And, you know, how are you going to react to that? Are you going to throw your hands up and look at the ref just because you're getting frustrated that he's, gr like, holding on to you? Or are you going to keep playing through it, keep hitting your moves, keep being aggressive and relentless in your pass rush to get to the quarterback? So that's all really important things that you get to see uh, from your opponent um, from that aspect. Great. So I think one of the main things that you said that was really interesting was the analogy of a game being like a test. And up until that point, it's open note. So can you kind of elaborate on how you've how how you progress from like, let's say, from college to from high school to college and the things that you've accumulated through the years? Like what what have you learned as you've as you started to get you know, older as a player? Definitely. That's a great question, actually, because I think about how I say all the time, if I knew what I knew now about college football or throughout my college career and applied that to high school football, I would have, you know, not even considering actual physical attributes that have gotten better, but just off my mind alone, I would have had so much a better, a much better career just because of the way I learned to study and break down film and to watch my opponents. Um, in high school, you get away with a lot with just raw athleticism, pure athleticism. Um, you know, you have great, I had great coaches in high school who taught me great technique. Um, but when I'm just a little bit stronger than the guy in front of me, uh, I'm a little bit faster, I can be, I can have poor technique and really just get away with it. Uh, at the college level, it happens sometimes, but not nearly as often. So it's really important um, that you're doing everything. You know, you're taking, um, all the drills during practice during the week during you know the off season during camp very seriously because that's stuff that you're really going they are tools in your toolbox that you're really going to use at that next level in order to beat a block or uh, beat the man uh, and make the play so details it's just so it's so much more important at the next level and you just can't get away with as much you know athletically and physically uh, so that's definitely a big takeaway that I had coming from uh, high school to the next level in college football. Awesome. So I wanted to open it up to Coach Burke. Um, so Coach Burke, did you have any questions or, or thoughts or anything you wanted to add on to what Alex was saying? No, I mean, just I think what he's saying is absolutely true. I think players come in and a lot of times are not fully prepared to, to, to watch film. They watch it like it's a highlight tape instead of actually watching the opponent more. And I think that's one of the things that, that you have to, as a coach, take some time out to teach your players how to actually watch film. And then the other thing that I think what Alex was saying and why your, your, your product is trying to go through that as well, too, is you want consistency when you're breaking down your own film for your players. So what I mean by that is like Alex brought up the example of running to the football. Well, that's one of the core, core values of the defense. You do want that graded out the same way every time. So we can see a measurement of getting, getting more and more successful. And I do think one of the things that happens with grades and Justin, I know you and I have had this talk before, but I think, you know, when you're winning and the program's doing really, really, really well, um, you know, it, it's, it may not be as important to grade every film for the player, but when you're not, if a player can see, hey, my grade jumped from 68% to, to 79%, we're actually making progress here. That can really be helpful as well, too. Awesome. Cool. Anything else anybody wanted to add? And, and if not, I'll stop the recording here. I actually just made me think of one more other thing. Yeah, go ahead. In terms of film, from a coach's and player's perspective, I think another huge thing and something you said, Coach Burke, uh, reminded me of this, but just engagement, too. I mean, I've sat in tons of film sessions and quite simply, like they could just be very boring. It could be such a drag and you're just sitting there and you're like, especially if you're watching film, you're not even in. You know, think about the guys who aren't playing and they're what, you know, some of them do a very great job of sitting there, staying engaged. Um looking at what the guys in front of them do well and what how they can implement that into their own game. However, it's just extremely hard 
when you're not when you're not even watching yourself just pay attention stay engaged you know you got guys who fall asleep during you know sessions you got the coach you know saying stuff wake up you know all this stuff and you know it could be funny but in all seriousness that's a really important just time for a coach and players to develop and if, if it's being if it's really hard to stay uh focused during it and to pay attention you're not going to get much done so i think a big way that coaches can keep engagement uh you know retention rates up during that is just making everyone involved and making really everyone feel important if you have your starters in for the whole game you know you got five on deep again defensive line defensive line guy i'm going to Talk, talk about the D-line, but you got six guys rotating, eight guys maybe rotating through, but you got 20 guys in the film session. You know, a great coach, I think, is going to know what all his guys, all 20 guys are good at and not good at. And, you know, say you have this player, this starter, this defensive end does something great. And you know that, you know, this, this guy who's maybe, you know, not even in the rotation yet, you got a freshman but you know that he's struggling at this thing that this senior does really well. You know, it's great to call him out during film and say, hey, you see how the way that this guy did this? Now think about the way you do it. What's the difference there? How can you make this better? How are we going to practice this next time we get up on the field and, you know, do this certain drill? Like, do you, so that way you just keep that player engaged. You keep everyone engaged. And you also have them know, like, like I care about you. And I want us all to get better during this time, not just a certain amount of guys. And I think just coaches going that, you know, certain mile and taking the time to do that for all their players, you know, that's going to make a huge difference because one, you're just going to keep guys more focused during that important teaching time. And two, you, you're really just going to, you're just going to be a great coach. You're going to get guys to love you. you got, you're going to get guys to really believe that they care about you and they're going to want to play for you. They're going to want to run through a brick wall for you. So I think that's really important, uh, and I definitely just wanted to share that. Just if I can add something to that too, as well. I think I think you, you hit the nail right on the head. That's one of the biggest things too. When you come to college from high school, there's so many more players. Depending on what program you actually go to, all of a sudden you have a hundred and you know between 100 and 120 on the team at certain places, and that's that's a big adjustment period. And learning how to watch from upperclassmen is really important, but the coach plays a valuable role in that. And, and we're not, you know, we, that's something as coaches, we all learn how to do better and better. And it's a simple thing that I know I've liked to do at times is you, you, you sit there, especially in camp, when you have your first group run a play, then your second group run a play, your third group runs a play, to not watch it chronologically, to actually put all those plays together. So you watch one right after the other. So you can really make reference back to the, back to the point and I think that's one of the things as coaches especially us older guys um you know we're, we're learning how to use technology better and better and better and I think Alex your points are, are are outstanding great so that's Alex anything else you wanted to add in that's all I got thanks Justin thank you coach yeah.